Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Philadelphia, this is CBS 3 Eyewitness News this morning. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Misha. Mm -hmm. All right, it's Friday. That means time for another <laughs> drink drive. Always looking forward to these. So where did you go this week? Yeah, all right, so ladies, we all like to spend time outdoors, yes. especially in the summertime, correct? Maybe we're looking for a place that's peaceful, playful, or maybe even a little bit physical. Well, I've got it all coming up on this week's edition of Dream Drives. Take a look at this. Let's head south to Chadsford, Pennsylvania and Winter Tour, Delaware. Winter Tour Museum, Garden and Library was once the home of Henry Francis DuPont and heir to the DuPont fortune and a Harvard-trained horticulturalist and farmer. We come here often uh, to enjoy nature. DuPont created a 60-acre naturalistic garden. By naturalistic, we mean, so if you look around, it looks like all these trees and flowers and everything just grew here. Yeah. But really, they didn't. Um, each of these was uh, hand-selected by Mr. DuPont. It's kind of fun to see a garden that's more natural. Inside the mansion, 175 rooms filled with 90,000 pieces of early American art. This is a 66-piece uh, set of dinnerware that belonged to George and Martha Washington. There's also a very famous painting of George Washington by Gilbert Stewart that just about everybody recognizes I'm sure. when they go into the I museum. Bet. Right now they're taking us to a place called Enchanted Woods and I don't know about you but this sounds fascinating. This is so darling. It reminds me almost when I was a kid and I'd play with all those little miniatures. Everything is designed for children to use their imagination. I gotta say I like the fairy cottage because it's just kind of fun to believe that you're living there. One of the things that's uh, really neat also is this bird's nest. Mm -hmm. This is oh, a giant nest. That is cool. That has um, three giant wooden eggs from oh. birds. Hey, I found some more fish. They're green. You can really go on adventures and do anything. Bill. But you can also relax yourself and just really en enjoy the outdoor yeah. setting. Now that we're in the summer months, there's nothing better than hitting the river. Wilderness Canoe Trips of Wilmington has a lot of options. We do canoes, kayaking, tandem kayaking, and tubes. We're in the watershed class, and today we're canoeing on the Brandywine River. They will be paddling back down into Delaware and taking out at our state park location at Brandywine Creek State Park. Sometimes you'll bump into traffic. When things flow smoothly, the Brandywine Creek is a dream ride. I would say everybody should get on the Brandywine. It's a great experience. With or without a canoe. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, you guys, you see that. what I mean? A little bit of yeah. everything with this one. A huge thank you to the wonderful people of Winter Tour Museum and Wilderness Canoe Trips in Brandywine Creek. We had such a blast. And I know if you visit, all of you will too. And I was telling you, you should bring Jack yes, to that, that giant bird. I'm nest telling you, awesome. there were, and there were so many kid things to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys ever played with those old miniatures, like uh -huh. in those little houses and like those oh, little yeah, troll that's houses. So so cute. That's what it was, but in life size uh -huh. form. So mm, awesome. That's awesome. That's so if you need great. some ideas this I weekend. I love the reminders of what's out there. Oh, so much around here. Misha, yeah. thanks. Well, seems just yeah. about everyone is singing along with Justin Timberlake's new song.